It's Parenting Connection Tuesday and 6 News is here for you with tips, strategies and helpful reminders from local child development experts on how we can be better parents and guardians. Today's topic, 6 ways to teach good sportsmanship. I'm getting excited because sign-ups for a bunch of fall sports will begin to open up this week across mid-Michigan and for my 5-year-old son, his first chance to play organized football and soccer. Now I want him involved because Child development experts highly recommend to get your kids involved in sports or games, but just as important is how they interact with other kids and coaches. These activities can help shape the character of our kids, but it also can be a great opportunity for parents to teach their children how to handle themselves positively in a difficult situation. According to experts at Michigan State University's Extension Office, here are six ways parents can help a child learn how to have good sportsmanship, yet still be a fierce competitor. The first is explain sportsmanship. Demonstrate why it's important to follow rules, be honest and fair, be well-mannered, and accept outcomes gracefully. Show them how to respect others. This means they shouldn't heckle, boo, or make rude or insulting comments to competitors, coaches, or game officials. You want to encourage kids to cheer for their teammates. You want to teach self-control. Games can get emotional, but players need to be taught how to control their emotions and not scream at fellow teammates, opposing players, or damage sporting equipment. Be willing to learn. If your child ends up losing rather than blaming others or themselves, it's a perfect time to teach them how to get better. And as always, walk the talk. You must always show good sportsmanship when watching your kids play. Remember, your kids are watching you and will imitate you. Child development experts say being a winner includes having a winning attitude, and that means having great sportsmanship, a skill that should be taught early in life, but it's never too late to try.